If we are able to design very, very specific radio tracers targeting a specific change in the tumor cell, then we can quantify the change. The more accurately we understand these changes, the more accurately we can select the specific drugs for the subsequent treatment. Our institute is composed of four program lines. Program line one is molecular pathology. When a pathologist nowadays looks at a piece of tumor, it's like a snapshot. Our vision is that you really can trace down the tumor without punching the tumor, just by looking at it either via the tracers of the PET imaging uh, program line, or what we aim at is looking at li so-called liquid biopsies. So if you imagine a tumor in a patient is kind of an organ which is really rapidly dividing, but um, on the other hand also tumor cells are dying and so the tumor DNA is shed into the bloodstream or other body liquids. So there you can really track down tumor DNA if you know what is the difference between the normal somatic DNA and the tumor DNA. And if you have the possibility to really take um, a blood sample, then you can do that repeatedly. And so you can dynamically follow the tumor um, through a longer period of time. We have an archive of thousands of issues in the pathology department and so we have the possibility to really screen tumor samples to find the best combination of biomarkers. The next step will be to also look for biomarkers which can be used by the nuclear medicine program line. Program line two will address the development and improvement of imaging biomarkers. The biomarkers identified in program line one will be modified by uh, linking them to radioactive molecules that emit a radiation which in turn can be detected by cameras of the nuclear medicine department. These days, uh, usually a single radiopharmaceutical is applied. Uh, our idea is, uh, because of this heterogeneity, that maybe a mixture of different radiopharmaceuticals, what we call a cocktail eventually, uh, will provide the physician with a broader range of information which allows him to better diagnose the patient. The radioactive labeled biomarkers will find the target within the body. It's like a key and a keyhole, and we have a radioactive labeled key that uh, is applied systematically, and uh, so it can reach uh, even remote metastasis. We can take pictures from the outside of the body with the so-called PET or SPECT cameras of the nuclear medicine. Program line three will address clinical trials, the translation of our knowledge to patients. The core content of the third line of this program uh, will be to assess patients, uh, obtain data from the patient's history and transfer this to the other program lines. In addition, it will also be our responsibility to obtain samples, blood samples for the liquid biopsy and tissue samples obtained during surgery and to further proceed them for the logistics of the other program lines. For our institute, it was a crucial intention that we will not stick to basic research. We really want to bring these principles into patient care. And since our methods are cost intensive and labor intensive, um, program line four will address health economics. Program line four um, looks at the long-term clinical health and economic outcomes of uh, these new biomarkers and the new dual diagnostic uh, concept to try to estimate what are the relevant consequences in terms of patient benefits, health outcomes, and also to look at 
how this would change possibly the cost of uh, diagnosing and treating patients. This is very important because currently there is no robust evidence whether these stratified diagnostic and treatment pathways are cost effective and it is very important that if we want to implement these in routine use then we have this evidence available. There are of course other ethical issues that are relevant for personalized medicine and these will be also looked at as part of this program line. Of course we cannot do that on our own. We have very, very important partners contributing to our vision. One of the strategic pillars of the Medical University of Vienna is precision medicine. And that's exactly what the new LVI Institute for Applied Diagnostics does. Combining different technologies to provide precise and fast diagnosis and better therapy. And this institute will bridge the gap between bench and bed sites very fast. Nuclear medicine has uh, the unique opportunity to translate um, early uh, mechanistic and biomarker research into clinical routine. So what we are hoping to get out of the Ludwig Boltzmann Institute Applied Diagnostic is novel biomarkers uh, and the application of these biomarkers in our clinical routine diagnostics, uh, but also in our uh, radionuclide and radiopeptide therapies. Of course we are at the start, but we have a clear vision. Applied diagnostics will revolutionize clinical diagnostics, and it will be key to a more personalized cancer treatment.